Penile prosthesis implantation is often done when medical treatment for erectile dysfunction fails. Today's penile prostheses are fluid-filled inflatable devices consisting of paired penile cylinders, a scrotal pump, and an abdominal fluid reservoir. An incision is made where the penis and scrotum join. An opening into one of the erection chambers is made and sutures are placed. The tissues inside the erection chambers are dilated down to where the erection chamber attaches to the pelvic bone and then out into the penis to where the erection chamber ends under the head of the penis. The prosthesis consists of a pair of cylinders, a pump, and a fluid reservoir. One of the cylinders is inflated to demonstrate that it increases not only in diameter but also in length. A special inserter is used to draw the cylinder out into the shaft of the penis. An extender is applied to the proximal end which goes down into the pelvis. The sutures are tied to closed tissues over the cylinder and a second cylinder is placed in a similar manner. A pocket is made for the pump. The pump is placed deep in the scrotum. Then connections between the pump and the cylinders are made with special connectors. A catheter is placed to empty the bladder. Through the original incision, a separate opening is created to insert the empty reservoir into a space next to the bladder. The reservoir is then filled with saline solution. A connection between the reservoir and the pump is made and the tissues are closed. With the prosthesis deflated, the penis looks natural. To inflate the prosthesis, the man squeezes the pump several times, transferring fluid from the reservoir into the cylinders.